Hello, Happy New Year, Aries. This is Ascended Stars, and I'm delighted to be here with you today, the 2nd of January, 2021 is here. Okay, so I'm uh, just doing a little quick read because I did do, um, welcome newcomers, by the way. We're going to check out your surrender card together. Uh, well, <laughs> there you go. There you go. I was I was gonna pull all these on on air right on camera but it's just way messy and I'm a klutz so uh, Aries <clears throat> so for my um, collective read for you that I have on my community page which I did yesterday you got pride twice hopefully you you uh, would like this messages these messages for you newcomers and you could subscribe and, and check out my community page Regarding that, also, um, it's important to check your rising sign for yourself coming up, <clears throat> especially uh, if you are, I would say, over 25. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. Let's see what we have for you. I'm excited. Drum roll, please. Okay, so the first card, I did see these. You got the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So I would, I would like to have a major arcana here because in my other spread, Pisces was before you. This is my new layout. So I tested it out on Pisces. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I settled for Ten of Cups and Six of Pentacles. You can't really beat, those are, those are pretty major. That's, ten of Cups you have to have. Okay, so you can't see it. I apologize. You can't see it on here, um, but it's to hold the cards. All right, you, I already mentioned what it is. And um, let's see here. The Hierophant, there we go. There we go. There we go. There's the Major Arcana. This is a... Okay, so right off the bat, you know, I was thinking about this Pride situation. I saw the last card too. So I was thinking about your, your pride Aries and Chiron is on your sign it's at it you have just by the way congratulations you're out of the retrograde uh, Aries retrograde out of it completely the shadow period is gone and it's clear clear skies ahead so meaning there's no hiccups really with your energy it's just gonna go forward and you guys rule fire force action initiatives strategic thinking um, you guys are just full-on spiritual warriors and with Chiron there you are it's um you you've beat even Sagittarius who are known for being spiritual warriors but the south node is in their sign so they're dealing with a lot of things that anyway they're dealing with a lot of things this is about you Aries let's stick with you so you have the ten of cups okay you have the ten of cups energy here you're going to be recognized or you're recognizing your own value and how important you are and how you're just not going to give that to any any Joe Schmo, right? Uh, a skank, <laughs> if you're a guy. This has to do with love. This has to do with love, how you have been undervaluing yourself in love, how you have been maybe playing husband or wife without really having the title. That's on you. That's on you. Because I feel like there's this energy like, you know you're the bomb, you know you're great, you know you have a lot to give, and when you love, you just fall in love. You fall completely into it. And the, the one thing I, my first boyfriend was Aries, guys. And um, I just loved his innocence. He had this, and me being a Virgo, we, we, we really were, we're meshing well because we don't, you know, he didn't have any, like the thing about Aries is that it's like this energy. It's so beautiful. It's, it's like you open your arms and you're just very forthright and you're authentic. You're authentic. And I, I can spot that a mile away. So when I saw him, I was like, whoa, this is the one. And, um, my old high school boyfriend, what a man. He is really an amazing Aries man. Anyway, uh, I wish him well. <laughs> Memories. Your next card up, 
Wow, so you do have these um, major arcanas. I haven't seen these three cards. So if this is another major arcana, we you are in for quite a shift right now. And it makes sense, right? I told you that Aries is out of its shadow retrograde energy. So you're going for yours, okay? You're going for yours. You, you're, you're at a place where you recognize what's going to make you happy. But it's come at a cost, okay? Yes, it's come at a cost. I get it. It's come at a cost. Let's keep going and see. Okay, two of swords. You've made that decision, decision, okay? Two of swords like this is you're conflicted and you haven't made the decision. I'm sorry about the glare. You're conflicted. You haven't made the decision. You are at a crossroads. You're no longer at a crossroads, Aries. And people can make the mistake because of this naivetivity or this kindness that you have or this uh ability to take action when somebody calls you know when the call when the need for the call goes out you take you go you're you're this you're the you're the one that goes and does it you're the one that's like the fighter you're the one like this is unfair we have to fight it we have to go find out you know get our legal rights da, 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 da. you take action you you don't just sit and become a victim and you do this instinctually instinctually habitually for some of you and automatically for your loved ones so those who are privileged to have your energy around them if your mothers fathers uncles brothers sisters uh they they know this about you and they but the thing is when you get in love and your partner your love partner starts recognizing i can this this energy i can use it to my whim to my like to i think this is what i'm picking up like you know you've been giving to the wrong energy because you haven't been reciprocated obviously this is about a very intense spiritual connection or um, a marriage that needed to dissolve or a commitment to someone that needed to dissolve because you got the fool right next to it moving forward learning the lesson and just it's 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 a great this full energy really is a great energy for me because I really feel for you Aries that you are coming to the place where you're just saying okay I put all this time energy effort I ha it's like you just it's like you're walking out of but the energy I get is like you walking out of the house and you just have your wallet or your purse and you're like I'm done I'm done and you leave your clothes in the closet you leave your shoes you leave all the photos you just leave it you're just like that's it I'm done I made the you know it, it just got to the point where it became well I feel for your energy honestly that you don't even want any of the crap that you had with somebody else you're like you know what it's too painful this stuff is going to remind me of you and i don't want to be reminded of you i don't need that anymore i'm moving forward and it's it's taken a long time for you to get to this place i really feel like you didn't get to this place sooner it, like um it, what you needed to get to this place sooner but we do have chiron and aries and it's healing those abandoned parts of you you're having to see where the dysfunction was speaking of dysfunction let me go ahead before I, I tap into this next um wow priestess of cups so this is the energy of the um i just did the reading of pisces my princess of cups is cancer scorpio pisces okay but i always refer to it on my channel as pisces as a reader so you're not you're not going to give unconditionally anymore okay she's reversed you're not going to give oh wait she's not reversed <laughs> i can't even see the picture okay um if it weren't for her breast i would have kept it up. okay so you are giving unconditionally to yourself uh yeah because look at her she's like 
turning her head. She's like, oh, no, I'm just, you know, it's like, you know, your value. You got a lot of love to give. It's a lot of juicy love. It's a lot of wonderful love. And you might have your set, your eyes set on somebody, maybe on a Pisces, maybe on a Cancer, maybe on a Scorpio that really knows how to give love back. Okay. They know how to, how to give and take, take and give. They definitely know how to give. The Hierophant again. Wow. Wow. So you're, you're, you're have a whole new vision on commitment on how far you're willing to put into it. Now you are looking for marriage though. Like you, you're going from this commitment, that's the past, he's going, he's looking at the past, to a new commitment. This is awfully weird, this picture. Okay. Um, and you know, as we can see, it's the number five. And we know that five, we're in the year of five. So you really have to, maybe a new commitment to yourself, committing to yourself, okay? It could be some of you, um, are committing to yourself because you're, go, you're going to go at it single, okay? And, and you had this codependence. I think some of you had this, to get the Hierophant twice, I think you had an enormous codependence. And, it, and, it, and the codependence was toxic. Well, it's never a good thing, but you've recognized it. You see the devil card. I, this is the one I told you I saw. So you're, you have unchained yourself. You have unchained yourself. You have, un, you have definitely unchained yourself here from a situation that was too toxic, too uh, unbalanced. It was one. It was one-sided. I definitely see the one-sidedness, you guys. I definitely, definitely feel it and see it. So um, it's going to take some time for you to understand that this is the best thing you could have done for yourself, that you are going to be embarking and embracing a new value, a new appreciation for who you are, and then that's going to bring oh my god you guys you guys the hierophant three times this is a huge spiritual lesson chiron is on your side giving you the spiritual lesson about who you should commit to and and honor marriage some of you have not honored marriage you have not been honorable in your marriage as well Some of you are going to stay in that marriage and now really put in the energy, the effort that it needs because you, you value it. You value your person. This person could be a Taurus. I mean, you got Taurus coming in three times because of the Hierophant represents Taurus. Then we have the Queen of Wands, which is you. I have, I, this was a, this was going to, this was, well, this was really a clarifier for that. But you've learned this lesson about not committing to man, but committing to your higher self and to God as well, okay? So maybe you have a spiritual path that has led you now to waken up and understand that you're better off alone right now doing the things that you need to do Getting, getting on top of your passions and the desires and the ambitions that you have, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, and healing, healing from your childhood, letting go of this need to um, be in control, or so it was a facade of being in control, and finally taking initiative of lack of being stuck that energy of being stuck is now gone is it's it's now uh yeah it's gone i mean aries is out of its shadow there is no more waiting there's no more excuses it's the new year you can't feel sorry for yourself there it, it's just not gonna, it's just the energy does not and you have so much spiritual help here 
because like I said, you guys are leading the pack when it comes to healing our psyche, ourselves, our egos. Okay, so let's look at the surrender cards. So now you have to surrender to spirit and trust, okay? Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by others or people's strong opinions. No, my Aries, you guys are fierce. I'm telling you, oh, I love how fierce you are. Um, people's strong opinions about what to do. Don't let that affect you. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Can you see it? Of course, I feel like I'm gonna drop something. And the next card is Surrender to Miracles. See, um, see, you got higher. So somebody, the thing is, it's like, it's like spirit was just waiting for you to stop feeling sorry for yourself, to stop uh, accepting less than what you deserve. The thing about the way the um, law of attraction works is you have to want it. The law of the spiritual laws, okay, the, the white light spiritual laws, angelic realm. We can't help you until you ask for help. We can't step in until you value yourself. We can't step in and give you that high quality, uh, you know, dream person that you may be yearning for, desiring, until you step up and become more worthy. You know, it's like these crystalline bodies that we've had in 2020 where we've had so much breakdown of the of the energetic cosmos and celestial energies to realign, to recalibrate um, our bodies, uh, our alg algorithms, our nervous system, because Uranus is on top of Taurus and it's going to be there for the next three years. And so our whole body has, has had like convulsions and little earthquakes inside to get on to, you know, to calibrate to what the energy needs us to be. Our, and, it, and if we haven't fed ourselves, we haven't been good to our bodies. We have, we, you know, a lot of my fire signs beat up their bodies basically. And they, and also Aquarius, I, I see that, that they just, they're gym rats and they're just pound, pound, pound. Um, and so what happens is, you know, if you're, if your body, okay, let's, it's like a marathon, basically, if you're not ready to go do that marathon, your, your body hasn't created the veinage for all the, um, for your, from your respiratory, because once, when you start running and using your body, like, let's say you were an athlete when you were young, that's a lot of blood being pumped to your heart. And so all the veinage is created in your body to get that, that the vein, meaning the veins are created. They're like, they literally, your body starts saying, we need more blood in our cardiovascular and our heart. And so we're gonna create more veinage, more veins to pump that blood because there's more demand, okay? Because you're breathing heavy or whatever. So what, when you, when you don't use it, you kind of lose it, but it, it's in there. If you start back up, your body remembers, it has a cellular memory, just like when a woman has a baby or has been pregnant, it's been impregnated and then gets pregnant again, it, it just goes to, into autopilot. Just like you don't have to tell or feel your stomach digesting, it just does it once you eat. So it's the same, it's the same idea of like, we've been here, we've had it for you the whole time, you just needed to go get it. You just needed to go back into the race because like, let's say you, you were an athlete and then you decided, in your, you know, an athlete in your twenties and then in your forties, you're like, well, I think I might run a marathon or whatever you want to do. I'm going to go back and go to the gym and get healthy. Guess what? If there's this cellular memory where your body kicks in and says, oh yeah, we made all this veinage in the twenties. And when he, when this person was in their twenties and we still have the capacity to do that. So there's this like ancient feeling to you that you just needed to tap into your divineness, your supreme, mystical, magical powers, but you were letting them go. You were, you were just letting them sit in a bag. You were just letting people take advantage of you because you were what caught up in this 3d world. 
And so now everything's been removed and now you just are down to the bare essentials and you're still this wonderful, authentic, powerful person. And you're just like, you just took all the, you know, it's like, it's like when you put makeup on to a little kid and you're like, that looks nasty. That looks horrible. And you move the makeup off and then you're like, this is this beautiful being, this beautiful child. Look how uh, healthy they are. And, and they just, they're full of vibrance and their eyes are full of glitter. I mean, you know, they have sparkle in them. So I feel like, yeah, miracles are going to happen for you. Dare you believe. So it says, be open to the miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that in miracles can happen. So I feel like some, some of you are like, yeah, I'm never going to find that other half. I'm never going to find that person. They're going to be just like you, baby. They're going to want to have fun. They're going to, you're going to have a hard time even keeping up with them. Okay. So I do feel like you're following, you're following your path. And marriage is definitely in the in the cards for you but you have to honor yourself you have to honor and respect what marriage really truly represents uh in a union there's this is like i don't know why but this is a there's a lot of hierophants here big spiritual lesson so i've been going about 22 minutes and i am standing pretty uh good to this timing we'll give you one more card this is just a glimpse i hope this resonated uh i love you guys so much i want you guys to really be happy in love you deserve it you deserve it you have a lot of love to give message from afar is your is your card from the universal love so you are being fueled by these um i think you're also being chased or or uh haunted that's the word i think you're being haunted by your past but you have to understand this is the new 2021 the the slate is clean uh you don't have to um be hard on yourself and you don't have to shortcut yourself either it's time for the aries energy to come out the healed warrior spiritual warrior who's not going to take crap <laughs> I tried to be good. Okay, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much. All my info is down below. I'm not gonna be offering a special right now because I just have so much backup work. So I'll be putting up my website. It will be at the show box down below. It does have uh, my old prices that I've had and everything, and I'm revamping that. But until then, that's all I'm gonna put you know for contact. And also, I have all my social media down below. So much love and light. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. All the best.